Hello, I'm Victor Mathias. Here's your Channel TV News update for March the 1st, 2021. All the 52 rescued victims of the Government Science College in Niger State have been reunited with their families less than 48 hours after they were released from the bandits' hideout. The 24 students, 6 workers and 8 of their relatives were handed over to their families and loved ones after proper profiling by the state government. But the Niger State Government is not sure of when the boarding schools that were shut will reopen as the result of insecurity ravaging the state. Meanwhile, the Pope has condemned the kidnapping of the Jengebe schoolgirls, describing it as vile. Pope Francis said in a Twitter message that he joins the bishops of Nigeria in condemning the abduction of 317 young girls, noting that he is praying for the girls so they might return home and be with their families. The Pope also spoke about the incident after his weekly Sunday Angelus address the Catholic faithful on St. Peter's Square in the Vatican. Former President Goodluck Jonathan has asked the Governor of Bielsa State, Senator Doe Diri, to invest more in education for the transformation of the state. President Jonathan made the charge at a grand reception in honor of the Governor at Kayama Town, where he also urged politicians in the state to work with the Governor and forget all political bias. On the foreign scene, late Chadwick Boseman has won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Drama Series for his role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom which comes just months after he died of cancer at the age of 43. His wife gave a moving speech to accept his prize, which was awarded to him at the virtual ceremony. She says, quote, he would thank his ancestors for their guidance and their sacrifice. Taylor Simone Ledward said while accepting the award on his behalf. And in sports, Teslim Balogun Stadium in Lagos is set to stage the Africa Cup of Nations qualifying game between the Super Eagles and Lesotho. The three-time African champions will face Lesotho on March the 30th at the stadium, which last hosted the team in 2011. While repair works are ongoing at the stadium ahead of the game, officials of the Nigerian Football Federation and Lagos State Government say the number of fans that will be allowed into the stadium to watch the match will depend on the Confederation of African Football's COVID-19 protocols. And that's the news updates. Don't forget to join us later for the recap. I'm Victor Matthias. Thank you for watching.